good morning students i hope you understood my previous class just recall your memory and try to answer these questions what is a mini constitution the 42nd amendment act of 1976 is a mini constitution nay the three classification of center state relations legislative relations administrative relations financial relations who appointed the sarkaria commission late prime minister mrs indira gandhi which article deals with official language article 343 to 351 how many languages are recognized in india 22 languages are recognized in india now we'll move on into the other concept first one emergency provisions the central government has been vested with extraordinary powers to deal with conditions of emergency whenever any emergency occur the central government has the power to declare emergency in the country under that first one national emergency article 352 article 352 The president can declare emergency if he is satisfied that India's security is threatened due to war, external aggression, or armed rebellion. Threatening forces, you know, it so threatening from neighboring countries, external aggression or armed rebellion. Rebellion means a war. Or in there is if there is an imminent danger imminent that is within our country if there any danger or threat and occurs when a national emergency is declared on the ground of war or external aggression it is known as external emergency so due to external forces emergency declared means it is external emergency on the other hand when it is declared on the ground of armed rebellion it is known as internal emergency this type of emergency has been declared three times in india so far that is in 1962 if due to a war between india and china in 62 and in 1971 and 1975 due to internal emergency we declare a national emergency in india the second one state emergency under article 356 the president can declare an emergency in a state if the governor reports that a situation has arisen under which the government of a state cannot be carried on in accordance with the provision of the constitution that is whenever a problem arises in a state the governor will report to the president and the president will declare emergency during that emergency the governor will take the authority of particular state then later they we want to conduct elections again in during that time if the election commission is unable to conduct election again the particular state will be under the control of president so maximum duration of the emergency can be 3 years so 3 years the particular state will be under the control of the president then later this particular state want to conduct again election and they want to frame a government that is about state emergency for the first time the president rule was imposed in punjab in 1951 that is about our state emergency the next one is financial emergency article 360 under this 360 the president can declare financial emergency if he is satisfied that the financial stability or credit of india or any of its parts is in danger if there is a financial instability occur the president can declare financial emergency under article 360 whenever financial emergency occur 
the salaries and allowances of any class of persons serving in state or union including the judges of the supreme court and high court can be reduced by an order of the president that is the salary and allowances will be reduced to the employees of both central and state government this type of emergency has not been declared in india so far still we are not facing any financial emergency so these are the three types of emergency the next one amendment of the constitution simply amendment means adding up the term amendment denotes change improvement and modification Article 368 of the Constitution in Part 20 deals with the powers of Parliament to arm the Constitution and its procedure. That is Article 368 under Part 20. This gives the right to the to amend certain things in our Constitution. Then how they are making this amendments? That is now we we'll move into. the procedure of amendment an amendment of this constitution may be initiated only by the introduction of a bill for a purpose in either house of parliament that is we have lok sabha and rajya sabha these are the two houses so in either house they may that as a bill they introduce when a bill is passed in each house they want to show a majority of Two third of its members. When two third show the majority, and that bill will send to the president office, and the president will give his assent to the bill, and thereupon the constitution shall amend in accordance with the terms of the bill. That is the procedure of amendment. That is first we want to pass the bill in the parliament, then show two third of majority, and we want to get the president assent. These are the three procedure. Then we have three types of amendments under Article three sixty eight provides three ways of amendment. That is amend by amendment by simple majority of the parliament. that is simple majority of parliament that is either house either lok sabha or rajya sabha amendment by special majority of the parliament so here they want to show special majority only in the lok sabha then third one amendment by special majority of the parliament and the ratification of half of the state legislature ratification that is declared by the state legislature that is something declared from the state will be added to the parliamentary issues that is the ratification that's the meaning of ratification so these are the three ways in which we can amend certain things in our constitution okay the next one is constitutional reform commissions the national commission to review the working of the constitution was set up by the resolution of government of india in 2000 headed by m n venkata chellaiya in 2000 venkata chellaiya same way in april 2007 a three member commission headed by former chief justice of india m m punchichi was set up by the by then government to take a fresh look at relative roles and responsibilities of various levels of government and their interrelations so these commissions were set up to reform the constitution as well as it will mention certain things for the amendments in the constitution so students so far we learned about many things in this lesson here we talk about many articles and these are very important one so go through properly and study and revise short answer detail and one words properly thank you